We have a vast collection of watches uh, ranging anywhere from 5,000 to 150,000 to 250,000. Every single product that we have in here is something that we feel fits not just us, but also our clients. Chris and I really took to this as not just adding brands because it adds business to the store, but adding brands because we wanted to present to the consumer an experience that they could only get in the finest markets in the world. What we found is that through general partnership between the end consumer, the retailer, and the brand, that we can really build a relationship all around. It's a big family that has just really benefited everybody. We get access to the finest pieces that you can see anywhere in the country. And then we also have friends that will come in, have a glass of scotch, and just hang out and chat about watches. Chris and I started in May of 2011. We were interested in reaching out to the local consumer that had been kind of neglected over the last few years. There was a recognized vacuum that had existed in Boston, and we looked at brands that we felt were undervalued, underrepresented, and we just decided that we'll go with these brands that we really enjoy, that we can get behind. To me, the 1955 Ultrafine is the symbol of the most classic watch in the store. It takes simple to a new level. It does contain the thinnest mechanical movement ever made, and the movement's all made in gold, which makes it even more difficult. Next to it, you have the Ricard Lange Pour La Marie. It's based on a pocket watch that actually wasn't made by Lange, but a pocket watch that's in the Mathematical Observatory in Dresden. It's kind of the bridge between classic and modern. I think this particular watch will see a very, very loyal and long-term following, given the fact that they can't make that many of them. It's one of the only ones I know available in the country. To the next extreme, you have the Pulsion Turbione from uh, from Roger Dubuis. I think it's the, uh, the most interesting turbion made by Roger Dubuis, that's why we have it in the store. Definitely a watch that I would stack up against any sporty turbion on the market. And I think the finishing on the movement, I mean, when you look at that watch under a loop, the finishing on the turbion bridge, the finishing on the exposed bridges within the watch is on par with the best in the business. The duometer Quintium Lunaire with the Fudrion is my favorite complication under $50,000. You have a dual wing power reserve and it's finished in untreated German silver. When you're wearing it, you watch this sixth of a second counter kind of rapidly pace throughout the dial. It's not something that you would see every day that has a very unique look to it. My first fine watch when I started in the industry was a uh, Omega Speedmaster. The combination of the black dial with the brown strap offers a really great look, especially if you're looking for a casual everyday watch. It's a Nivelle Le Mans movement that most brands could charge two or three times as much money for, so I still think it's the, the best value at under $10,000. The Miramar Chronograph is a 46 millimeter watch that uh, wears much better than a 46 millimeter watch, has a polished ceramic case, and really kind of a classic pilot's look to it. And for them to do an in-house chronograph with a 65 hour power reserve and a flyback mechanism for under $15,000, I think is, is pretty remarkable. I really think of a lot of our best clients as, as friends, you know, that, that yeah. we truly enjoy being I just want to build an army of guys that will come by every single day, just talk about watches, and I can learn from them, and they can learn from me, and. If we can translate our passion to somebody else, it's made our day worthwhile. <laughs>